Hey guys, welcome back to the Rambling Movie Minute. I'm uh, Mike Sorg here uh, on our small piece of the internet where we take a moment to ramble about some movies. And now our main rambler returning to us, Malengo. How you doing, sir? Hey, I'm good. How you guys doing? All right, all right. Caught a lot of movies this week. I, I picked out a couple to talk about. Uh, but we, we, we do have a guest returning again. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm in one Sorg. Mad Mike, who usually joins us on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. He's at Mad Mike four eight eight three. How you doing, sir? I'm doing fantastic. I saw a lot of movies this week. Awesome. Seemed like a good weekend for it. Uh, so, so Malenga, what's going on at the box office this weekend? Yeah. So this weekend uh, we had the big uh, Lego movie that from Warner Brothers. So that came out. Uh, that swept basically the box office sounds like it destroyed yes it destroyed almost i guess yeah three to one compared to the second movie up uh the moment the moment to men moment man whatever Monument those men. guys monuments monument oceans 11 with nazi art seems like it yes yeah i actually <laughs> had interest to see that movie but i don't know not really anymore. <laughs> I didn't know it was a thing until I was looking up movies because I, I almost went to Lego Movie. Actually, I was in the theater ready to go see the Lego Movie, but it was sold out. And the next one, it was like a four o'clock showing. And the next one was until ten. That was in two D, and we can't do three D. So it was good. yeah. So so it was there was definitely a presence out there out to see this movie. It kind of reminds me of uh, Saving Private Ryan without all the with all the craziness. <laughs> Saving Private Ryan, where instead of stepping on dead bodies, they're stepping on Legos. Yeah. The pain, the pain is about similar. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Ride Along is still <laughs> there. There's an audience. So, so yeah. Yeah, there, there's movies. really one movie, I think, this I, weekend. Well, that was the problem, because they're like, they're like, would you like to see something else? And I'm like, well, I, I like, looked up at the, at, the, at the list, and I'm like, there is nothing I want to pay this amount of money for to see on a big screen. <laughs> nothing yeah. right now so i i don't know uh but but, but well and we'll talk about what's coming out i think that's going to change a little bit at least this next weekend so um awesome yep so uh going jumping right into the news um uh, yeah so there's definitely a justice league movie that is set to go 20 2017 this is uh, th this is not in lieu of the superman batman movie this is in addition to right this is an addition to, but this is why most likely the Superman Batman movie is being pushed back to okay. put these movies closer together in the grand scheme of timelines and when they when they come out. But the funny thing is, uh, even though it's been green light just for the screenwriting, we don't have a director yet. We don't know who's going to be starring in it. Um, we know nothing about this movie except for we have two writers. And I'm screaming. still so nervous about this movie. What are your concerns about it again, Mike? Uh, everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Warner Brothers being Warner Brothers, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. Like, like there's Avengers. We already kind of know what's going on for Avengers Two. That's not coming out till next year. And past that, they have Captain America Three, Thor Three, possibly a Guardians Two. Mm -hmm. All on the horizon. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't seem like DC or Warner Bros. has a plan for their movies at all. The problem is they're like eight years behind on making a plan to to make something on on the on the level of what uh, uh, you know Marvel's been able to accomplish here with the Avengers. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, and I think there's another difference too, is we're talking about like characters, you know. We've talked about this in the past on the show. Characters like Batman and Superman are money makers and icons, you know, that everybody recognizes. Versus, like Marvel, really took the sleeper heroes. Like everybody knew about the Avengers, everybody knows about Captain America, but who got excited about Captain America and Iron Man before, uh, you know, Robert Downey Jr. showed up? Right. Okay. Well, I was gonna say once they signed Downey, I got very excited about Iron Man. Yeah, exactly. Right. They just kind of came out of nowhere. This is like if DC took, I don't know, Teen Titans, which is something that's not quite oh, as iconic, sword, don't, and made them what the what Avengers like are that. today. What's that? Don't play with my heartstrings like that. I would <laughs> love to see a Teen Titans movie. Well, hopefully, that, that, that they don't screw cool this too. up. You know. What's that, Malengo? 
you know, I think a Teen Titans movie would be really cool. I think the problem with Warner Brothers, I mean, like this Lego movie was a Warner Brothers uh, IP. So I think the the interesting thing is like um, somebody noted on one of the podcasts I listened to that Warner Brothers basically doesn't have their house in order. No. So a lot of their IPs and, you know, I think they're just trying to like organize something to compete with the success of Marvel. But if you take their like individual like uh, IPs, something that is original, it has great success. I mean, opening box office day, the Lego movie did better than... Uh, than frozen i just feel like i just feel like your batman and your supermans are like so big they they're afraid to misstep with them here so they, here's they the thing overcompensate that me. what's that here's the thing that bothers me about the warner Bros. stuff they have two ways they could go with this and they're both very very easy ways to do it last year or two years ago they released dark knight returns animated part mm-hmm. one and part two mm-hmm you could have made all that at the same time and released it as a full-length feature. And it would have killed. Yeah. It would have absolutely killed because it was really, really good. Like, it had Batman, it had Joker, it had Two-Face, it had the Mutants, it had Robin. But I like, feel it had like everything you need. I feel like they're not going to jump in that. And I think when you look at the, and I think when you look at the financials, that I think it makes sense for them to do it on DVD. Um, but you gotta think they have they have experimented before with pushing these things straight to theater. Batman: Mask of the Phantasm. Yeah, I know but it's not, was, but, but, but I, and I know 90s. it wasn't a good example, and I and it did what it did. But I think when you ask somebody at Warner Brothers, you know, hey, why don't we just put this out in the theater? They'll say, well, Batman: Mask of the Phantasm didn't do good in the '90s, so we're not going to do it now. And that's the problem because it's this long tooth mentality, and people don't know how to kind of reinvent stuff. That's why you have to shove Batman off to uh, Legendary and. and and, and all those guys uh, to do something different, you know, to take it out. These guys, you know, Christopher Nolan got enough going on that he could, he could talk them into, hey, let me do something with Batman over here without you guys messing with it. And we got what we got, which is the best DC-based comic book movie uh, since Superman 1. I think. Yeah, I'll yeah. agree. I'll agree with that. But, mm-hmm. I mean... I guess time only time will tell, you yeah. know, what yeah. what happens with Warner Brothers. I mean, I do I will say and I, I think you guys would both agree, it's kinda of sad that the uh, movie releases we get that are fully animated from Warner Brothers are amazing storylines and story mm-hmm. plots. Mm-hmm. And it's kinda of weird that they can't translate that to the big screen mm-hmm. besides yeah. Batman. Hey. So yeah, and I know you got another news item, but can we touch on that? Because I know Mike and I have both seen uh, Justice League War in this last week. Yep, I was. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, one other thing it. I was gonna say about the live action. Yeah, go ahead. Um, they like it's weird that Marvel is so far ahead of them, considering DC ha- DC and Warner Bros. has the advantage of literally having their entire their entire catalog of characters to pull from. Yeah. Like, they can literally make any movie they want with any DC character. They could just do a Nightwing movie. <laughs> they could just do a Nightwing movie, like, in Bloodhaven, and it doesn't matter. They could do the Teen Titans. They could do anything. Like, they could do Young Justice. They could literally do any cast of characters they want. Whereas Marvel, you can't have Spider-Man in the Avengers movie. You can't have Wolverine in the Avengers movie. Mm-hmm. And yet, there's a successful X-Men franchise. There's a successful Spider-Man franchise, two of them, in fact, and they have the Marvel movie universe proper. Yeah, like that is unreal to me that DC can't pull it together, whereas Marvel doesn't even have arguably their two biggest draws in Spider-Man, Wolverine. Yeah, exactly. So, but but Justice League War, I think, uh, what we, we talked about last week a bit about how they're opening up this new joint cinematic universe which we've had for geez almost 20 years with the whole uh batman anime series on through the justice league and some more recent movies um so uh, uh, mike well, what were your thoughts I, I i know you were worried about going in you aren't a fan of the source material which was the uh original uh jim lee run of justice league with the new 52 here uh first six episode, uh, issues um i was a fan of it uh, what, what, what did you, how did you think it interpret? 
Um, it wasn't it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Mm-hmm. It, like the animation looked really good. Uh, the some of the personifications I thought were a little off, like Wonder Woman, for instance. Yes. <laughs> she was <laughs> she was kind of tough to deal with like, there. Uh, like I don't get how it's so difficult to bring Wonder Woman to a screen mm-hmm. at all. Like it's almost like DC doesn't know what Wonder Woman is. Like the only Wonder Woman piece of comic material that I've been interested in the past twenty years has been the um, the her appearance in the Smallville comics. Mm-hmm. Like other than that, like the Wonder Woman in actually the Wonder Woman in the Bruce Tim uh, cartoons that was that was a good Wonder Woman too. Yeah, just Justice League I think did it. I thought the movie the the straight to video movie they did a few years ago was was all right. You know, nothing terribly exciting, um, but you know it was in line with everything else they were doing at the time. Um, I, yeah, but I enjoyed this. I, I it was weird. I know because. We're kind of stepping back, and it's when the Justice League first meets. Uh, there's a lot of fun kind of banner between, like, Batman and Green Lantern. Like, so what do you do? Because I think all these people were aware, like, Green Lantern is aware of Superman, is aware of Batman and everything. They've all heard about each other on the news. But they, this is the first time they actually ran into each other. And kind of seeing that that, that happen, it, it w- was pretty cool. And, it, and I, I really think there was a lot of really fun dialogue, and there was a lot of action. So I think it delivered on that. It's no under the red hood. It's no Dark Knight Returns or anything like that. But the the comic itself was a fight fest. So mm-hmm. so why not, right? Um, so it, so for what it is and for what it's trying to establish, I'm a big fan of it. I'm looking forward to uh, Son of Batman. Son of Batman looks amazing. Mm-hmm. Son of Batman. Ooh, I, I, I they had that. um they had a, a preview for it on the DVD and it looks really, really good. Like the only thing about, um, the new 52 that I have liked is Damian Wayne. Yeah. Damian Wayne is just a really fun character. He it's is. almost like if, like if Batman just completely embraced killing. Yeah. I mean, for those who don't know, the son of Batman storylines, basically we find out he has a kid, um, uh, to Talia for uh, Rasha goals daughter um for those familiar with various continuities uh and he's been pretty much raised to be an assassin i think um mm-hmm. I, I never read like i never read this particular storyline i've always read like lighter stuff so so yeah I, he, uh, I think in the i think in the version that's coming out in the spring he was taught by deathstroke and rachel ghoul awesome that's gonna be Which, fun yeah i mean you have me hooked right there because i love be deathstroke all right malango hey is there another story you got there um, uh, yeah, I'll touch on this one. Uh, well, okay. Not to gloss over the two big deaths, or the big death for, for me, but uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman did pass away, and uh, most notably today, uh, Shirley Temple. So without bringing the show down, I will say uh, those were two great actors. I really, I really like Philip Seymour Hoffman. Um, and I... I will pay homage to Shirley Temple. And uh, with that, I will move on. Unless you guys want to say something, but I will move on. Go ahead. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, Sony. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch on this, but there's a bigger story here. So Sony is making a Rabbits movie. And uh, the funny thing about this is... There is no point to this movie. They don't even talk in the game. So and they're extremely like violent. Have you seen the show? I have not seen the show. Dude, Did go. It's on show? Hulu. I imagine you can probably see it on Hulu free. Um, I, I know I was watching on Hulu Plus myself, but it's it, it it's like 10 minute things. Um like like it feels like Tom and Jerry style. Uh and it, yeah, there's like like a short plot i guess you can call it with like rabbits in a grocery store rabbits on the beach rabbits doing this stuff um this I, how are the they minions? doing an hour and a half movie on this thing are they going to bring raymond in? if you don't know the rabbits are like the raging rabbits like the wii game that's been out it's on it's been on everything which is a spinoff of the rayman series by uh ubisoft um yeah it, it's gonna be it was that 
There's, they got they have to introduce some other character that's actually going to string I, together a I plot. I think you're just trying to cash in on the minions. Yeah, well, in a long oh yeah, it's, it's it's all around just a, a cash yeah, in that, above that. That's exactly that's exactly what I thought. Like, is this a play off the minions and just say like, hey, this is big right now, let's cash in? But well, the there, bigger news there is going to be a minion that, movie. Well, I there mean, there is going to be a minions movie next year. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> so it's going to be a prequel. Sadly, yeah. Sadly to say, I would probably go see that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> here's the bigger news. Here's, I think, the bigger story is the fact that Ubisoft has a ton of titles that are apparently been greenlit to uh, to come out in the future years, all based on their IPs. Meaning that even though they're doing you know test trials, even like Twelve Years a Slave, they technically were behind that, uh, working with Brad Pitt. And Brad Pitt's already said that he wants to work exclusively with them on some other on some other movies. But we have Splinter Cell, Assassin's Creed, Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs isn't even these, out yet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All of these are uh, are in the works for what? Ubisoft to make a movie. For. That's crazy. But hey, you know what? But that's they, I mean, they know what's going on. You know, how many Tomb Raiders and Hitman and everything that we had? I just did the thing where we had the, again Hitman and, and Tomb Raider. They're they're trying to everybody's trying to push their property, to try and make a big movie about it, and try to expand it. So you got to think, you know, we make an IP, we want to push to whatever form of media possible. Um, but that's crazy that they're 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 already doing that. For, it, but it makes sense. But a lot of these are so theatrical. Is there an Assassin's Creed one in the in the works? There almost needs to be. And yeah, I just, no, there is. And I there know I just I pissed Chachi even, off out there um, because of how complex that storyline. You'd really have to dumb down that storyline, too. So. For Assassin's Creed? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, as long as we don't have that, uh, uh, what was that really bad movie that... Um, Hitman? No, well, Hitman was pretty bad, too. But where's, <laughs> the, where's the other one based on the game where uh, he could rewind time? Prince of Persia? Oh. Prince of Prince Persia. Of Persia. Yeah, as long as we don't have something like that, I think I'll be okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of done with Jerry uh, Bruckheimer uh, Disney movies at this point between Persia and uh, what was that last one, Lone Ranger? Holy crap. Yeah, how did that even get not? Uh, yes. Anyway, well, it's special not effects. good when you start off with the character of Tonto and you cast a Caucasian to play it. <laughs> <laughs> what is Highlander I mean, Paint? Nobody that is knows. Not, that's not, you know, uh, uh, you know, Johnny Depp is very talented, but. He's not American Indian. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe not entirely. Mike, I would like to just let it be known that I will be starring in the role of Lincoln in Abe Lincoln. Out this, uh, <laughs> oh, that's good because I'm going to be in Malcolm X. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Title character. Title character. Uh, we're getting it made by any means necessary. So that's, oh, man. that's our tagline. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to be going to see the Lego movie today. I know, Mike, you're going to go. Mad Mike is going to go see that uh, this weekend. Mike yep. Sork? If I have time, I'll try to go see it. But I think RoboCop's coming out, right? So that might. I know. I think if I go into anything, it might end up being RoboCop. Sorg. I'm interested, you know? Sorg. Well, the Lego what? movie. The Lego movie the is Lego your only movie. option. What's that? The Lego movie is your only Robocop option. RoboCop PG-13? Oh, no. It did get dumbed down. That's... From the original. The original was R, and it got dumbed down to The PG sequels 13. got dumbed down. I, I still kind of want to see it. See how Jackson's in it. Michael Keaton's in it, man. Morgan uh, some... Freeman is Lego God. <laughs> Morgan Freeman is Lego God. That's all you need to know. Our Morgan Freeman is Lego God. I don't know. I don't know. We'll give it a couple days. There's we got a, couple... a Lego Batman, a Lego Superman, a Lego Michelangelo. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. And we'll see what happens. I got a busy sure weekend. There's a me, song so. in it called Everything is Awesome. <laughs> Which can be the new theme for Awesome Cast. So we'll get... That will not be podcast safe, I'm sure. <laughs> so, awesome. What else is going on, Malango? Uh, so, <laughs> since we were talking about RoboCop... It brought up an interesting uh, conversation on this uh, article from Superhero Hype on origins and uh, evolutions. So they're, they, uh, some of the movies, they basically were seeing a trend, right, with uh, reboots, basically. Uh, we have a Rhino, a Green Goblin, Sentinels, uh, Frankenstein, Jack Ryan, all these movies that are basically being refreshed and rebranded to, I guess, our day and age. 
does that stop anybody from going to see this? I mean, in my opinion, I think I'm still going to see Robocop. I think in a lot of cases, when you look at um, when you look at reboots, like like I, we we're talking about, I think Mike, weren't you and I talking about why are they why do they always have to rewrite these origin stories for the comic book characters? You always have to update it, right? Um, it bothers I, me so much. I know it bothers you, but but it's like try reading the the first issue of Batman, Superman, Amazing Spider Man, The Avengers, stuff like that. It, it, I mean, not even just it was written, you know, in the '60s or or even further back, and it's hokey. But but then take a movie uh, from the '80s. And people don't accept that anymore, you know. So you need to update it for a new audience, but the core can still be there. Um, plus, I think it's just so easy to. Uh, we complain a lot about WWE uh, working on your nostalgia factor. I think movie studios really do the same thing. Like, oh, I remember seeing RoboCop. I've seen that. It was on the Sci-Fi Channel, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'll see a new RoboCop movie. Let's see what they can do. You know? Yeah. I mean, I don't expect this to be the best movie ever. No, it's RoboCop, but it's <laughs> RoboCop. Guys, I, I think the I think the hardcore fans are the ones that are going to be most disappointed by this because I agree with you, Mike. It's RoboCop. It's just <laughs> RoboCop. And I, I heard one discussion where they were saying like, "Oh, this new one, uh, not both of his hands are mechanical." Like the fact that we still see a human hand, like people are already getting upset about that. And like, really, it's RoboCop. It's it's going to still be in Detroit, and it's PG thirteen. Yeah, and Samuel Jackson is in it. I'm actually excited oh, to see him. He'll do anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He'll do it's anything, but let you call him Lawrence Fishburne, right? Yeah, if you call him Lawrence Fishburne, he will hang up on you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, Mike. Uh, you saw Pacific Rim. I did. I what did. What did you think of that? I loved it. I loved it. But I love like I was a fan. I'm sorry. I was a fan of Godzilla in the 90s, like the reboot yeah. with Matthew Broderick, just because it was like giant lizard destroying shit. Um, and, 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 and I've, I've watched a few of those really bad mech fighter, you know, uh, movies from the 90s too. Um, so this was like right up my alley. Now my wife watched it with me and she kept saying, this is only a little bit better than the monsters in Power Rangers. <laughs> mm. only, a little bit only a little bit better than the monstrous it was uh, everything i think i would want from a, a monster movie is an updated version of it i'm cool with that you know i i had a lot of fun with it um great soundtrack oh great yeah special effects the movie is awesome once you start to nitpick the movie you start to kind of say well what the hell but it doesn't even matter because it's, it's, it's not a movie awesome that that movie. should be nitpicked should it doesn't oh. it 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 leaves the gaping holes for all to see, and that's okay because it, <laughs> I mean, all big enough to drive a can, Jaeger. Through. Can you tell me a movie in this genre at any moment that makes sense? Okay, it's like forty-seven Ronin. Forty-seven Ronin, <laughs> really? <laughs> I meant the monster movie oh, man. kind of genre, but um, yeah, yeah. I, but no, no, it was a lot of fun. It's big robots. It's everything you want. I, I, the, 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 I thought the concept of the whole kind of mind meld, they actually called it a mind meld at one point, which I was like, ooh, you know, I, I think they did that on purpose uh, to, to make these rob robots go. Uh, I, you know, the surprise to see Charlie Day and the guy from uh, Torchwood as a scientist. Um, Ron, I'm like, we're like halfway through. I'm like, where's Ron Perlman pop up here? And I was completely <laughs> pleased. Make sure you stay for the uh, after the uh, uh, first round of credits there. There's a nice surprise. Um, and I think they're doing a second one, I hear. Um, oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I saw something when I was searching for it. They, it did pop so, up a Pacific Rim 2 news. How something. far removed is this from Real Steel? Oh, it's so much better oh, than Real yeah, Steel. Are you so kidding me? No, better. you will appreciate okay. this way more than Real Steel. Because I've never seen it. I don't have a desire to see it. Oh, no, you would you would love it. I, I <laughs> You should. You should. I, I, this is, this okay. is both of us saying you should... Go out of your way and snag this thing. Uh, if you stay tuned to the, the awesome cast later, I'll tell you a way uh, that you can do it for free. Because that's what I did. I didn't pay for this. Hey, cheating. Hey, no, it's not um, cheating. It's a complete legit way to do it. And uh, you can you can do an awesome cast to figure lasts. out what that is. What's that? <laughs> for as long uh, as it lasts. There is a there's a there's an animated uh an anime on Hulu 
that is very similar to the concept behind this movie. There's but a ton I, of animes everywhere similar to the concept. Have, have you ever heard uh, of uh, Robotech? There's, there's probably about a bajillion of them. I mean, there, there's just look up anime giant freaking <laughs> robots, and you're going to have a list that's going to be pages and pages, and and some um, of them may involve anime sex. I, I that's just how big the genre is. Search on. That's true. Keep your anime <laughs> thing in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh let's start to wind this down. So weekend battle. This is what we got. We got RoboCop, obviously. Uh, I think that's the one that's just clearly gonna clearly gonna take it over because we have about last night, which I have received. I I think ten free movie passes for this movie. That's how you know it's gonna be bad when they can't even give away free movies fast enough. Like. So yeah, have you seen the trailer for that? I yes, I a, have. It's also very bad. I, I think there's a reason. Again, <laughs> can Kevin Hart stop making movies? <laughs> Do we really need you, a Kevin Hart a month club in the movie theater? I, I think so. I think this is like I. I mean, I don't know. I feel like this is like his sixth movie in the last like, two or three months. Like the only way my mind can explode further is if Tyler Perry made a movie starring Kevin Hart. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like it's just like they're not even trying it's just called Medea Kevin Hart like they're not even trying <laughs> like she goes uh, to see him in concert or something like it just, uh, just don't play the don't trailer uh, I can't <laughs> just so you can see this how is, bad it is. is here's what sucks about this this movie will make money because it's still coming out Valentine's Day weekend. I don't think so. I, I honestly don't think so. Your options, your, your options are a and movie plus, called Endless Love. Well, well, and and remember what we we're talking about too. Like the whole black audience thing is like exploding right now. I think that's why Ride Along's still in the freaking theater. Um, it has to be right. Uh, you know, you know, what my lady and I are doing for Valentine's Day. Watch we're going Kevin to Hart. see the Lego movie. <laughs> Lego movie. We're going to see the Lego movie. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing anything that doesn't involve Kevin Hart. No, yeah. she hmm. wants to see the Lego movie. Like she wants That's to see the Lego funny. movie more than Winter's Tale, which has like Colin Farrell being all on a horseback thing and riding across a bridge. I'm like all right, I, we can go see the Lego movie. That's yeah, right that's on. like score. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm down. I'm like, all right. Lego Good. movie all the way. All um, right. Yeah. So, okay, what are you guys watching? Or recommendations? Uh, well, I recommend to Mike to get the Pacific Rim, of course. Uh. I'll see if I can find it. <laughs> um, no, that's my big recommendation. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be looking, if I get a chance, uh, depending on how the ladies feel on RoboCop or Lego movie this weekend, if I if, if I have some open time. So, yeah. Uh, um, I recommend The Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, so I good. just saw that. Oh. oh, my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> if your movie opens with you tossing dwarves at a target... <laughs> You've already sold me on everything okay, that there happens you go. in your movie. Uh, you, you know what? You're gonna Whoa. like Project X as well, which was on HBO recently. Um, oh, oh, I also forgot The Crudes is on Netflix. Definitely recommend that if you haven't seen it yet. Epic, it was okay. I liked Epic. E Epic was Epic, okay. Yeah. I mean, that was. I, I didn't know what That's to expect right. from it. So Epic was like an expanded Fern Gully, and I was okay. Yo, I, I was like, is this Fern Gully? Is this the is this the Fern Gully for our generation? So, anyways. Take us awesome. home, right? What you got, Malengo? Uh, well, I'm gonna go see the Lego Movie tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, uh, I would. I think I'm still gonna recommend her. If you haven't seen her yet, go see our awkward future. <laughs> mm. In other words, if you're single on Valentine's Day, take your smartphone <laughs> to the movies. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Hey, uh, in, on a side-related note, House of Cards is coming back. Yes. And I'm behind on Walking Dead, and, and that's the, also. And uh, how, House of Cards Against Humanity is a thing, apparently. So go check that out as well. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah. Mike, take us out. Right.
All right. Thanks a lot. And of course, you can check out episodes with us over on SogatronMedia.com. We're going to be working on, I think I'm going to try to, I don't want to make any promises, but I think I'm going to try to break it off so you guys have your own YouTube channel here uh, shortly. Uh, if you have any questions, anything you guys want to hear about, you're going to, you're, you're going to go tell this man, at Rambling Mango, on the Twitters. Uh, so go tell him what you think of the movies and what you think he should be seeing, his opinions on anything like that. I know he's tweeting movie news all week long. Mad Mike is uh, Mad Mike 4883 and he's at WrestlingMayhemShow.com where he participates in that show as well as uh, all the great after shows uh, with us for Raw uh, TNA. I almost said SmackDown. We don't know SmackDown. We actually do stuff on we Friday nights. We should start doing SmackDown. We, no, no. That's video game night. Come if on. they go live, we'll start doing SmackDown. That's true. That's true. We'll see. Uh, so with that, we'll see you guys next week.